בעזרת השם, מוגן אוסטרד אף, סמך זין. אוסטרד משנה. דלושס, אוקיי. לא, לא, לא. במשנה עשז, בת ישראל שנישאת לכהן. הבת ישראל מרי לכהן, הוא מת, and the Kohen died. So we said when the Bat Yisrael marries the Kohen, Avdeh Melog and Avdeh Tzom Barzela both ochelet ochlo betrumah. Now he died. Being, if she goes back to her father's house, nobody eats, right? But she don't eat. But she's pregnant. Now, Rashi, Afal Pi, she has Labanim Emenu, even though he has sons. So technically, what's the problem? She's eating, the sons eat, the sons own the Avadim, right? Who owns the Avadim when the husband dies? The sons. So the sons are Kohanim. His Avadim don't eat. Lefi, Lefi Shehen Shel Yorchim. Because the Avdes on Barzel belong to the heirs. Viesh Le'ubar Bahen Helek. The baby also has a part. Right? The baby in the stomach. Ve'en Le'ubar Koach Le'achilam Betruma. And the Ubar cannot feed them. You hear the problem? He's not here yet. He's here enough. Let me ask you a question. A guy, a guy, a guy, a guy, a guy dies, his wife is pregnant, right? He has, uh, he has two sons and a baby. He has $3,000, right? So what happens? Does the baby have a part or he doesn't have a part? He should. In the future, why not? When he comes out, is he going to get a part of the money? Or he's not? No, sorry. We divided the money before you were born. Sorry, Charlie. I'm asking you. You think? Ah. So what happens? Before he's born, he doesn't have, and then after he's born, we go back to the two brothers and we penalize them? No. I, I, how does it work? Mr. Ma, we sort of hold it for him when he's in the stomach, so it's like he has a part. Good. We hold so, it for him, but not for her. Right. To say, if it's a she, she's not getting. So we hold it on Tafik. Okay, but we hold it for him, for the baby. Yeah. But then, but the, let's let's say it's only one baby. The mother could still still eat. The mother could eat. Yeah, but the, but because of the baby, she only eats because of the baby. Oh, you because mean if, the if, it, if it's an ubar? Yeah. If it's an ubar, then the mother wouldn't eat. If there's no if there's, if there's no, no other, other children, children, we're gonna that. The next Mishnah says. The Nubar can't make his mother eat. But, but, over here, thank you. Right? The end of Ubar Koach La Achilam Betruma. Imishum. There's two reasons you could say. Imishum de Kasabar. Ubar b'me'e zara zarhu. This this womb is it kohenet or not kohenet? It's not really kohenet womb. She's really a Israelite, right? She's a, she's a she's a she's a, uh, a kohenet by association. But the, but the inside of the of the the, 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 the parts inside are one hundred percent certified Israel. <laughs> right? So maybe we hold Ubar b'me'e zara zarhu That the baby when it's in the stomach of the zar Is the zar And he doesn't become a Kohen until he comes out When he comes out what happens? It's a wild tzivara What's the matter Eli? Zar is not a non-Kohen It makes sense It's part of the mother now it's not part there's, of the, there, there's, there's a, there would be a major nafkamina if you think that, that the baby inside has a problem of becoming Tamil Met. If you hold Ubar Zarhu, then she could go to a funeral, right? It's, it's not, it doesn't call Hayim till it comes out, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, so can I we know make abortions? I know there's a Hayim there, but it has to show up if, 
if it falls on something, nobody says on, on Shabbat. Or, we look, we look okay. he holds yilud ma'achil she'en yilud en ma'achil. Maybe he holds only born people are able to feed. Sheneemar vilid beto hem yochilu belachmo kedi be yachilu. Only yilid beto, born in his house, not not yalu. So yachil, only yachil. Feed others. Feed you? No, <laughs> cause them to eat. Cause them to be able to eat the Roma. Cause them because of me to eat the Roma? Because I own you. The, abid, the baby, one day old, can to own, feel. Can he, own. own, he owns and he feeds. Right. Whereas the Ubar, even though he owns, he doesn't feed. So, Bat Yisrael, she ni said le Kohen. Bat Yisrael marries a Kohen. Umet, and the Kohen died. Vini Hame Uberit. And he left her pregnant. Rashi says, even though she has other children, Lo Yochlu Avadea Betruma. Either because the baby's a czar, the ubar is a czar, and he's he's uh, diluting the kohanut ownership. Either because it's a gezerat katuv she'enu yelud enu ma'achil, and they have an owner that can't be ma'achil them. It's almost as if they have a there's a partnership ownership among I can't feed them. Mipene hel koshel ubar because of the part of the ubar. Sheha ubar posel ve'eno ma'achil. An ubar is posel and he doesn't feed. Rashi sheha ubar posel. In bat kohen he said li Israel. If you have the daughter of a kohen who married Israel, ve'eni hami uberet and he died and she pregnant. Ve'en la ben aher and she has no other children from the kohen like we know that the lady. A Bati Yisraelu marries a Kohen and the Kohen dies as long as she has some zera with him, even a mamzer, we said that she could she could continue eating tiruma, right? But this lady has a ubar, posla, so, so the opposite, I'm sorry, the opposite. And a Bat, a bat Kohen, sorry, and a Bat Kohen who marries a, who marries a, a, Kohen, a Yisrael, the same. If she has no children, then when he dies, she goes back to her father's house and she eats tiruma. But if she has children, she doesn't. If she has an ubar, she pregnant, no tiruma for her. One second. Wait, there's a new case. Sheha ubar posel. We're explaining this statement. Sheha ubar posel. Posel what? Posel is mother from eating tiruma. Even though he has more brothers, does no, he have diff posel? Different case. Oh, this is only an no ubar, no, no brothers. Different case. It's a different girl. Shaubar posel, a bat kohen who marries Israel, and the husband died, and she has no children, but she's pregnant. She's still Israel. It's enough. To, the, the the stomach pulls it to the Israel's house, right? Ve'en la ben aher posla mi la shuv lebet avia kin ureha. Ve'en o ma'achil im bat Israel le kohen he. If it's a bat Israel who married a kohen, who met and he died. Then he hamir uberet and he left her pregnant. So she says, my cousin, who's the Israel, who's a bat kohen, who married the Israel, you told her she pregnant, she's still his. So if my his her husband died, she's still pregnant. Maybe I'm still his, and I'm a kohen, and I can eat still, right? In bat Israel a koheni who met when he hamir uberet em be ubar koach laachila. The ubar can't feed her vuadin laavadim, and it can't feed the avadim. That's the opinion of Rabbi Yossi. Amrulo, they told him, Me'ahar shehi'ad talanu. How about you say, look, Ohen, if you told us, you testified for us, you have a psaq, we're going to see in the Gemara, I think it's from Shmaya and Avtalyon. How about you say, look, Ohen, that if she was married to him and she had kids and she had a nubar in her stomach, that the avadim can eat because of the ubar. Afpat kohen le kohen umet veni ham uberet. So let's say she was a kohenet, and she married a kohen, and he died, and he left her pregnant. There's still a baby that can't feed. Lo yoch lo avadeh betruma mepene hel koshel ubar. That's what they told him. That's what they told him. Biosi Rashi. Afpat kohen le kohen kivan de amar. If you say the reason is. She'en yilud and ma'achil, that a baby that's not born can't feed. Heyach ha'avadim ochlim betruma. Had the avadim of the of the bat kohen to kohen. Eat teruma mepene helkoshel ubar. 
the portion of the baby, even though the mother's a queen and the father's a queen, but the baby's not a queen and he owns the slaves. Share Avadav hen. The end of Lim Elabish Vilova, who Embo Kochlach, he's not able to. Yeah, but, but technically, the baby's eating for the mother. Because she's a Kohenit. So again, that's, it depends how Ra- Rashi quoted two reasons, two ways to explain why there'd be Osiel's not. Either because he holds Ubar Bimezara Zarhu. And if that's the case, then when it's a Kohen, he does eat. When she's a Kohen, she, he does eat. Or because, or because Yelud Ma'achil, She'en Yelud Ma'achil, an unborn baby can't feed. And if that's the reason, even a Kohen, an unborn baby can't feed. He doesn't have the full stemple till he comes out. Ibaya Lehu, the Gemara says, they ask the question, Ta'amad Rabbi Yossi, is his reason, Mishub the Kasavar Ubar Bimezara Zarhu? Is it because he holds a baby in the stomach of a non kohenit is a co- is a non kohenit until he comes out into the world, and therefore or dilma is the reason yilud ma'achil she'en yilud in ma'achil, right? Or is the reason that even even no matter who you are, until you actually out in the avir haolam, you're not ma'achil. You have to be yilud. Lemaynaf kemina. What's the difference? Le'ubar b'meh kohenit. If the mother's a kohenit. If you say Yilud Machil, Sheinu Yilud in Machil, even if the baby's a Kohen, even the mother's a Kohen, he doesn't eat. But if you say, if you say Ubar be Me'ezara Zarhu, this is Ubar be Me'e Kohen, it is a Kohen. Rashi be Me'e Kohen, it bad Kohen me Uberet me Kohen. I Amar Mishum Zarut Leka, Vi Mishum Shein Yilud Ika. Amar Aba says Gemara. Amar Aba, Hainu Ta'amad Rabbi Yossi. The Kasabar, Ubar B'me'e Zara Zaru. Easy, he holds Ubar B'me'e Zara Zaru. And therefore, by Kohenet, it would be good. Rabbi Yosef Amar, no. His reason is, Yilud Ma'achil, She'en Yilud Enu Ma'achil. Only a baby that's born feeds. A baby that's not born doesn't feed. Mate, Ivey, I'll ask you a question. Like Al Mishnah says, Amru lo le Rabbi Yosi. They told Rabbi Yosi me ahar shehe atalani. Now that you testified for us, Al Bat Yisrael le Kohen, on the Bat Yisrael lo meir Kohen, that when she's pregnant, the avade the avde son barzel can't eat. Bat Kohen le Kohen mal. What about if a Kohen a Kohen and marries a Kohen? Should be the same. Amar lahem. He told them, Zu shamati. He says, I can only testify to you what I heard. I heard, Bat Kohen, Bat Yisrael le Kohen, the Avadim don't eat. The other one I didn't hear. Now, what does it mean, Lo Shamati? Rashi says, Zu Lo Shamati le Isura ela le Hetera. He says, I heard that that one is good. I heard that Kohen it, to Kohen is good. He eats. He's ma'achil. That's the case. Kohen, but Kohen, Kohen. Right? Zu shamati, vezu lo shamati. Meaning, lo shamati, Rashi says, li isur ela leheter. Says, iya marta, iya marta bishlama ubar b'meezara zaru. If the reason why, when it's a when it's a bati sale to Kohen, that they can't eat is because ubar b'meez Kohen. Ubar b'mezara zarhu, hainu de kamar lezu shamati vezu lo shamati. That's the difference between the bat yisrael and bat kohen. Ela i amar tilud ma'achil she'en yilud en ma'achil. But if you tell me that until the baby's born, he can't feed even it's a kohen. My zu shamati vezu lo shamati. What's the difference? E he he. It's the same. Kasha, that's a problem. The Ritva wants to claim that when he says Zu Shamati Lu Shamati, I heard this one, I didn't hear that one. You decide if the reason it's applies or not. Amar of Yuda. Amar of Yuda, Amar Shemuel. Zu, the Mishnah, the Vred of BOC. Aval Chachamim Omrim, the Chachamim say, Yesh lo banim. If the Kohen dies with a pregnant wife and he has children, they eat because of the Banim. And no Banim, 
doesn't have kids. Ochlim mishum achim. They eat because of the brothers. The father's brothers. They get inherited by somebody. En lo achim ochlim mishum mishpacha kula. So you see, the Chachamim argue. So now, look in Rashi. Yesh lo banim acherim levad me'ubar ze ochlim ha'avadim b'shvil banim. De ubar let le zechia. Shmuel says, no, the baby doesn't get anything when he's in the stomach. Let's see. Wow. So since the Ubar doesn't get because he's not here yet, so when the guy dies, the money goes to his cousin. And then when she gives birth, it comes back. So we asked before. So what's the purpose of going to the cousin then? Until so there's a baby, it's a bone by someone. Zuvelo, Zuvelo, Svira Lehu. Says Gemara. One second. Zu devered be. Says Gemara. Zuvelo, Svira Le. Lachaura. If he says Zu devered be O C, he means this is what he holds, but we don't hold like that. Zu velo Svira Le. He's arguing on a B O C. Ha Amar Le Shmuel. And what's the reasoning? Like Rashi said, because in Ubar doesn't have the legal capacity to own anything. So therefore, since he can't own, he can't be Yoresh. If he's not Yoresh, the other relatives are Yoresh. The other relatives are Kohanim, and therefore they feed. Shmuel told Rav Chana from... So Rashi has two pshats. He was a Darshan. It's a compression of Baal Agada. לשון אחר שם מקום שהוא בבבל ששמו בגדד פוק הייתי לי בעשרה go get me ten people the aim of the vampire and I want to tell you in front of them why ten people to make פרסומי ניסה המזכה לעובר קנה if you give something to somebody and you tell them be זוכה for the baby the baby gets it so you see Shmuel Holt the baby does have legal rights of ownership so why shouldn't the baby inherit the slaves and cause problems? Right? The baby owns it. So, so when the father dies, the baby should get it. After he's born, not now. Now, Hamza Kelo Ubar is Kone now, not that. How you can it? It's a problem. Why? How you can. Somebody can answer me when he's not there. He's there. Where? Who? Where? In the, Jack, you put this on the gram, right? There's no sound of back there, right? There. What's the difference? It's a girl. Habob, you put your hands in and it goes boom, boom, boom. What? It's a girl. That's a different question. Another question is Safek. Safek, okay, but I want to say, Mizakele Ubar is Kone. Because I didn't say to the boy, whoever it is. In the case of Yerusha, in the case of Yerusha, if there's sons, you're right, it's a Safek. Maybe he's getting, maybe he's not. So the Avadim Shirimi Safek? Very good. Says the Gemara, Ella, you have to say Zu visits Virale. So when Shmuel says Zu devred be your see him, and this is what he holds, and I hold like him. So then my Kamash Malan, what's his Chidush? The Pligi Rabbanan Ale Drabiosi. The Chidush is don't think nobody argues. The Chachamim argue. Umi Pligi, do they argue? The Hamar Bizakai, Rabbi Zakai said, Zu Edu Teid Rabbi Yossi Mi Pishe Mayava Avtalion. This testimony of Rabbi Yossi, he testified in the name of Shemayava Avtalion. The Hodulo, and they admitted to him, the rabbis admitted. So you see that everybody agrees, they admitted to him. Amar of Ashi, Mikatani Vikiblu, does it say that they accepted it? Hodulo, they admitted to him that what he said is a true edut. Katani, the Mr. Bertame, makes sense. Makes sense that they said that. 
it's reasonable to say hamizakel ubar lo kana. It's reasonable, but we don't necessarily agree with you. Tanur banan, we have a brayta. Eniach banim. If he left sons, both types of avadim eat. The avdeh tzom barzel that belong to him, because now they belong to the children. And the avdeh melog that belong to her, because she still eats, because she has children. Right? Rashi. Hini abanim ha-kohem ve-lo hini hamer uberet. Elu ve-elu, avdeh melog ve-avdeh tzom barzel ochlim. The avdeh melog ochlim b'shvilah. She ochel b'shvil baneha. Vavdet som barzel ochlim b'shvil banim, because they belong to them. Heniha meuberet, if he left her pregnant, elu veelu en ochlim. Neither ones eat. Rashi, heniha meuberet velo en yachla banim, and there's no other sons. Nobody eats. Elu veelu en ochlim. Sheha ubar enu maachi lo etim ov lo et avadim. Heniha banim veniha meuberet. Boys and pregnant. Avdet melog ochlim. Her servants eat. Because she owns her slaves and the children don't. So the Ubar doesn't. So she she, owns the the Avdeh Melog she owns. Okay. They're, they're in her possession. Okay. So she's eating because she has sons. Good enough. Her slaves eat with her. The Avdeh Tzom Barzel that belonged to the husband and now belong to his Yorshi are partially owned by the Ubar and therefore don't eat. Partially, so what we, if they have even brothers, what's the problem? Some of these slaves are owned by the Ubar, which is his portion. Avdet son barzel lo yochlu mepene chilko shil Ubar. Sha Ubar posel ve'enu ma'achil devre rebi yosi. But there's brothers over there, right, Abay? Yeah. Okay, so if he has brother... He can eat because of the brothers. He cannot eat because of the ubar. Because the ubar is safek, we said. One second, we didn't say safek. Even so, it's a safek. If it's safek, so go back to the brother. It's, they eat because of the brothers. No? If if it's a boy, does he own it? That's, 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 if it's a boy, does he own it? Maybe yes. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Yes. And the, okay. and the brothers. Or maybe once again, and, and the brothers own it, but if, yeah. but it, but 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 they both own it, right? Yes, both. And, and in that case, they can't eat. Right. Nah. It could be a girl. Yeah. And that, then they could eat. It, it was, the, the Why? Must because eat. they must eat. That's okay. If it's a girl, then then she, then the, then the avadim are allowed to eat. Must eat. Well, must eat. They're allowed yeah, to yeah, eat. Have, have to. They're allowed to eat. Tiruma. I don't have to eat. Tiruma. I don't have to. Have to. Have to. Have to. Not mean it's, it's bad to feed them and I could do. Oh, I don't know, you tell me. Now by Moshe is a Kohen, you think he have eight Terumah? Looks like it. <laughs> yes, BD, that's why. Uh, okay. So that's why... The... It's a Safek Isur, Safek boy, Safek girl. If it's a boy, if it's a boy, they're allowed to eat. They're not allowed to eat. It's a girl, they could eat. Safek don't eat the Lechumra. Maybe it's a Sufa them to eat. The Vreda Biosi. Right, Shaubar posel about Kohen, Venom Achil about, but, uh, mean about Kohen married to Israel, Venom Achil about Israel married to about Kohen. Devre Rabiosi. Rabbi Ishmael Berbiosi Omer Mishum Aviv. Habat Maachelet. Haben Enom Achil. Rashi. Habat Maachelet, the Kaman Mefareshla. What are we doing? Yeah, because the brothers. Can How do you know that? it's a bat? Oh, I know, but it's a, let's say you know, like you said, if it's not a girl, if it's a bat, it's a boy. No, it's a boy. It's nice. It's beautiful. That's what you say, Rabbi. Very nice. It's wrong. The B Shimon. That's what you told me. I didn't say that. You said If it's a girl, the B Shimon ben Yochai Omer, Zecharim, if there's boys, Yochlu Kulam, then everybody can eat. The ladies, the avadim, everybody. Nikebot. But if, if he has girls, lo yochlu, then the avadim can't eat. Shema yimtza ubar zachar. Ve'en labano b'makom ben klum. Then he doesn't have anything. But he's not eating because of bano. He's eating because the uncles made you, Rabbi. Quiet, quiet. The guy, Mr. Kohen died. Yeah. He has... If, if he has if he has boys and the wife is pregnant, then the avadim can eat. If 
he has girls and the wife is pregnant, they cannot eat. Why? Because it might be a boy and he's not, they're not allowed to eat because it's still there. So right? If it's a girl, it goes to the uncle, so he's my, anyway. My area, Shema Yimza Ubar What's the difference? If, if there's girls, what's the problem? Maybe the baby in the stomach is a boy. And then who gets all the money? Him. Him. And he, and he right now, So that's a good reason why to say that they can't eat, right? Right. He said, but let's say it's a girl. So they can eat because they're uncles. No! But you said before, Jack, you said you're going somewhere, no? Jack, please, please, you, I know you're excited, but stop a second. If a guy has no sons, who inherits the money? The brothers? The girls! The benot yeah, that's if they're no children. So the girls inherit, right? Now, if the if the meman of shach, this baby is going to get some of the money. Why? If it's a girl, so she's a girl like the rest of the girls. And if it's a boy, she gets it all. So he gets it all, right? If it's a, if it's a girl, if it's a boy, there's no she. He gets it all, right? So this baby is for sure get it somehow. When there was when there was boys and the mother's pregnant, right? Maybe the baby's getting, maybe the baby's not. Why? Because if it's a boy, he gets. If it's a girl, he doesn't get. Like Jack so wisely told us before. Whereas if the girls, if the, if the other children are all girls, then the baby for sure gets. Right? So now, so look at Rashi. Zicharim, if they have boys, yochlu kulan, everybody eats. Nekevaot, lo yochlu. If there's a boy here, the avadim could eat because of him. Ah, what about the baby? Why? It's like a sveik sveika or a rov. Shema nekevahi. Maybe he's a girl. What do you want to say? In the cooker is a boy. Shema tapil. Maybe she'll have a miscarriage. Shekola, so now makes it off. Shekola yoldot mechza zecharim umechza nekevot. Every 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 stomach, it's a half fifty fifty chance, right? It's flip a coin. Maybe boy, maybe girl. V'yesh shemepilot. And some have he's against the odds. V'yesh shemepilot. And some people miscarry. So the odds of having a boy are less than 50%. The odds of having a healthy boy is less than 50%. 50% boys. 50%. Not the odds of, a, of, the odds of healthy babies being boys. No. Because that's also 50-50. But... The odds of any pregnancy la- winding up in a healthy less boy are less than 50%. Why? Let's say 10% miscarry. Right? Let's say 10% of pregnancies end in a miscarriage. Right? And 50% are girls. Right? So 50% are... are 45-45. Right, so it's 45-45. Right? Let's assume that 50% of the miscarriages are boys and 50% are girls. Right? So I have 45%, 45%. So the odds of somebody coming and saying that these avadim can't eat tiruma is only 45%. 55%, sick, they could eat. So let them eat because of the rov. Rov odds are that they could eat. Right? The yeshim apilot. Smoch mi uta demepilot. Take the minority of miscarriages and put that together with the mechza nekevo with the 50% girls. Havalu zecharim haru yim lirash mi uta is a minority. Ule mi uta lo haishinan. That good, you couldn't say it, Jack, right? Kulan. I was scared to go deeper because you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kulan and nekevot. If they're all girls, lo yochlu. They can't eat. Shemi yehu bar zachar. Maybe it's a boy, then he gets it all, right? So now it's, the truth is, it's not shemi yehu bar zachar. Because shemi yehu bar zachar is also miut, but in that case. The only mi'ut you have is the mapilot. Because Zachar or Nekeva doesn't eat. Okay, say that on the person that have 
Thai boys that they, they, they are also 50 50? Yes. We could say. Every time. I mean, you know, if you know probability uh, theory, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, you know, my brother has five boys, so. Table clay. Say six well, boys, 90%, not 50 50. 50 50. Well, that that's that's assuming that there's no that there's no biological factors yeah. that 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 influence one person to be more boy than girl. It happened. <laughs> there's some people that based on the pH or based on different 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 factors that they're more prone to having boys than girls. Right. In the strict probability theory, you're correct. Table clay says the Gemara again. Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai Omer, Zicharim Yoch Lukulam. If there's a boy, everybody eats. Why? Because I'm not worried about the pregnancy, because it's a mi'ud. Nekevot, if it's girls, lo yochlu. Why? Shemi imtsao bar rachad. Maybe it's a boy, ve'en la banot bemkoma ben klum. Says Gemara, ma'i iriya shemi imtsao bar rachad. Tepo klei de nekeva anami pasla. Chada ve'ot kama. That's what he means. Chada de nekeva anami pasla. If it's a girl, she's posel. Maybe it's a boy. They don't have anything. There's a boy. They eat. What about the baby? We're not worried about a minority. We follow the majority. Most of Pregnant women, <laughs> or nekevot, or mapilot, are either females or miscarriages. I didn't say the rov is nekevot. The rov is a combination of nekevot and mapilot. Okay. You say, oh, oh. Says the Gemara, if you want, I'll tell you, le'olam kasavar choshishim le'miuta. Really, Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai holds, we're worried about the miut. So how come Zicharim Yochlu? Ta'avdin an leh takanta ke Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel. We do something like Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel. Ta'amar Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel. Yotomim shebao lachlok bin nechse avihem. Yotomim that want to divide up the properties. Bedin ma'amidim lahem apotropos. Bedin puts them a trustee. Uboreh lahem chelak yafeh. And he chooses them a good portion. Higdilu, when they grow up, Yecholim Limchot, they can protest. And they could re, re, renegotiate. But if Nachman did Amar Higdilu, and Yecholim Limchot. He says, even when they grow up, they can't protest. The Imkan, if you say that, Amar Koch, Bedin Yafim. What's the power of the Bedin? So therefore, according to Rav Nachman, if you hold like Rav Nachman, right? So what they do is, when there's a baby in the cooker, they say, okay, the Avadim belong to these. He gets some other properties instead of it. This way the Avadim can be, could eat, could eat the on the cheap. Rashi, the Avdin and Lehu Takanta Borrim Le'ubar Sha'ar Nechasim Le'chelko. We give the Ubar other properties. V'nimtza, v'nimtza'u Avadim Kulan Le'chelek Anoladim. The Avadim already belong to the born ones. If they're all girls, we can't do that. Why? Because we're not sure that they get anything. Maybe it's all his. Rashi Ketani. Shibao Lachlok, that they want to divide the properties. Ma'amidim Apotropus Lekole Had Ve'ehad. You give each one a trustee. Uborer Kol Apotropus Helek Ehad Yafele Helko, and each one chooses a good portion. But the, 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 the halukah helps that the perot that they accrued in the interim are theirs. Sorry, and Rav Nachman himself says they can't protest. Says Gemara, Lema de Rav Nachman Tanaehi. Let's say Rav Nachman who himself says that they can't protest. Right, if they could protest, then maybe we shouldn't feed Tiruma because if they protest, it comes out that the Avadim weren't really this. Right? Lema de Rav Nachman Tanaehi Rashi Mi da Amar Bishimon Zecharim Yochu Mishum Takanta de Rav Nachman. So how come the Tanakama says you can't? Mechlal de Tanakama da Amar of Detsum Bazelo Yochu. Feel bit Takanta. He holds you can't even make this fix. You can't, uh, you can't designate the avadim to the born ones. 
Veletle the Rav Nachman. He doesn't hold the Rav Nachman. Rashi says at all. He holds you can't you can't you can't divide it with somebody else, right? Ve'enam Rashaim lechalek al chigdelu. Says Gemara no no. The Kule Al Meilu the Rav Nachman. Ve'acha bechoshishim lemiuta kamefligi. The machloket is whether choshishim lemiuta. Rabbi Ishmael, Rabbi Yosi, Omer Mishuma. That's all. Rashi. If you made this takana, hachinami, everybody agrees. The achli afilu letana kama. The hacha bedelo avu takanta pligi. They told they arguing when they didn't make a takana. The kamar Rabbi Shimon yochlu. And like we said before, Rabbi Shimon says they eat. Velo haishi lemiuta. Tana kama haish lemiuta. But we don't want to say that the reason why they eat is because of this takana. That would make Rav Nachman a machlok etana. Now the Mishnah said, "Rabbi Ishmael, Rabbi Yosi, Omer Mishum Aviv, Habat Maachil Jack, the daughter could feed. Haben Eno Maachil, Maishna Ben Delo Maachil. How come when there's a son, Lachaura he means if there's a son he doesn't feed. If there's a girl we feed. Maishna Ben Delo Maachil. So how come when there's a son you don't feed? Mishum Chelkol Shel Bar because you're afraid about the baby in the stomach. But Nami Lo Tachil Mishum Bechel Koshel Bar." The girl also, you should be afraid of the baby in the stomach. Says the Gemara, Amar Abaye, Hacha benechasim mu'atim askinan. We're talking where there's not so much money. There's not so much money. And the girl is under 12. And there's a takana chachamim, part of the ketubah, that when the, when the guy dies, his daughter gets fed. From his estate. And the, the boys... Let them go collect. Why? Because it's a takana. Normally, real, in, a, in, a, in a natural halachic state, the opposite is true. The boys have the money and the girls don't. So the chachami made a takana that the girls get fed until they're of marriageable age, then they should get, no, until they're 12. Right? When they should, by that time, they should be married. Get them married, right? Very nice. Do they get more than just that? Do they get like a dress? Or and they have a dowry and so on. That's, that's, that, but that's not as, not as strong in the, the takana. It's clear that the girls, the girls have the food. If they, so now, if there's enough money, the boys support the girls. If there's not enough money, let the boys collect the girl because the girls have a takana. So if there's not a lot of money, with, the money is all in escrow for the girls. But who decides? What? Who decides what's enough? Oh, the Beitin looks at it. They see if there's enough to support them till they're twelve. So they're gonna they're gonna take these avadim. They're gonna put them in an account. They're gonna rent them out to pay for the girls' things. So who do the avadim really belong to? To the girls. Ah, so when. So I don't have to worry about the ubar. The ubar is not worse than the than the, than the brothers that are here. Rashi abat ma benachasim muatin de tekum rabanan habanot yazunu vabanim yeshalu ala petachim. Banim less than twelve also yeshalu ala petachim. Yeah, the girl has a takana. The boys don't. Right, ugon de ika ben behade bat, and there's a son too. Manavshach. He hid the meabra ben who, if it's a boy, lo adiv me hid the kai. He's not better than the guy that's here. Ibati, if it's a girl, says Gemara, am I achla b'takanta der banan? If there's a girl inside, right? What? She also has a portion, right? She's also going to get supported until she's twelve. But that's a takana chachamim. Kama delo nafik lavir haolam before she's born. Lo takinu rabanan, the chachamim were mitaken that she should get. But Shankin, if there was no brother, then the girls would own. They'd be like boys. Then there's no takana chachamim. Because there's no takana chachamim to feed a girl if she owns money. In that case, then the other girl in the stomach would make a problem. Bimai ukme, what are you talking? Binechasim mu'atim, ema seifa. The Seifa says, Rabbi Shimon, whatever, Shema yimtza ha'ubar zachar ve'en lebanot b'mkom ben klum. What do you mean? I thought we're talking about little money. When there's little money, even a boy doesn't get it when he comes out. Says the Gemara, Adraba, nechasim mu'atim debanoninu. It stays to the girls. Says the Gemara, Seifa, ata'an lenechasim rubim. The rabbi who's talking in the Seifa is talking when there's a lot of money. A guy goes to every case that a guy that's doing this 
Vinechasim says Gemara. Vinechasim, muatim de banot ninu. Is the little money belong to the girls? The ha Amar of Asi Amar Biyohanan. Yetomim shekad mu umachru vinechasim muatim mashemachru machru. If the tomim sold it, they sold it. So it's not true. Your contention is that when there's a little bit of money and the girls have to get supported, that the money actually belongs to the girls? It's not true. It belongs to the boys. They owe the girls money. So to the Avadim, really belong to the boys. And then if that's the case, the Ubar is going to ruin it. Says Gemara, Ela, my bat katani. What does it mean, bat? M, the mother. Rashi. Ela, my bat de katani. M. Ta'achi kamar. Ha'em ma'achelet avdem melog shela. כדרך שהייתה אוכלת. והבן אין הוא מאכיל את עבדי צום ברזל מבני חלקו של עובר. So what, what Rabbi Shimon is saying, no, Rabbi Ishmael ברבי יוסי says, הבת מאכלת, הבן אין הוא מאכיל means the mother feeds, why her slaves eat. הבן, the son of the guy who inherited צום ברזל, her slaves don't eat. Ihachi, Hainu Rabbi Yossi. That's what the Tanakhama said. Tanakhama said, Nechse Melog, eat, Nechse Tzom Barzil, don't. Kula Rabbi Ishmael, Be Rabbi Yossi Katani La. The reason why he said this again is to teach you that that statement of Rabbi Yossi was said by his son, Rabbi Ishmael, Be Rabbi Yossi, explaining his father's position. Ha'obar, Ha'obar, a fetus, Ve'hayabam, and a yabam, the erusin and engagement, the acheresh, and a deaf person, who bentesh shanim v'yom echad, poslim v'lo ma'achilin. If the lady is a kohenet, they posel her from eating. Kohenet, bat shel kohen, v'lo ma'achilin. If she's a bat yisrael and the guy is yisrael. They also don't feed. You can't say posel because she wasn't eating till now. Rashi. Haubar posel. Bat Kohen, daughter of a Kohen. She niset li Yisrael, she married Yisrael. Umet. And she should go back to her father's house. Vinicha me'uberet. She can't eat. Ve'enu ma'achil, if it's the opposite. If it's Bat Yisrael, she niset le Kohen. Bat Yisrael married a Kohen. Umet. And he died. And he left her pregnant. Even though once the baby comes out, she'll eat. While it's in the stomach, she doesn't. Again. Bat Kohen. Bat Kohen. Married Yisrael. He died. She's waiting for his brother. Yisrael. He's considered married enough that she can't marry, eat, go back to her father's house and eat. But Bat Yisrael. Shomeret. Liyavam Kohen. Bat Yisrael. Married Kohen. He died. She's waiting for his brother, the Kohen. Enu ma'achila. We'll see. Doesn't feed him. Same idea. We'll see. So she's not pregnant. She still can eat. Right, because she's waiting for the brother. No, but meaning the yibum is to her, is in theory to her benefit because she's still connected to the Kohanim house. No good. We'll see. Ve'ha'erusin. Bat Kohen me'uzreset li Yisrael. If a bat Kohen gets engaged to Yisrael, she stops eating. Bat Yisrael me'uresel lekohen enu machila. When the bat 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 Yisrael gets engaged to the kohen, she can't eat. Who ben teish shanim begmara mefarish la? Safek shu ben teit. Back in the Mishnah. Safek shu ben teit shanim v'yom echad. Safek she eno. If we're not sure if he is and he isn't, Rashi. Safek shu ben teit. Safek she eno. Have enami kim ben teit. We consider him like a ben teit. Uposel ve'amilta delaka. It's going on what we said before. Safek hevi bet se'arot. Safek shelo hevi. To safek, you have a guy. He gave kedushin to a lady, but we're not sure if he's a gadol. So, for example, you had a bat kohen and Israel, young guy, gives a kedushin. It's one of these eighth grade romances, right? And they they don't know if he had shte se'arot or not. Safek meuresit, safek na meuresit, right? Now she goes home, she can't have dinner. Right. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to know what happened in school today. Safek evi ve'tzarot, safek shelo evi. 
Look at Rashi. Doesn't say. Safek, what's Safek? No. no. Same thing. Safek, she vi betzarot le el kai. Lenyana erusin, de katani poslin. Tachi kamar, katan she kidesha isha. Safek, vi shte sarot, vi kidushav kidushin. Safek, vi kidushav kidushin. Safek, she lo hevi. Posel, but kohena me urese lo mena teruma. He's posel her. Nafala bait alav ve albata hiv. The house fell on him and his niece. And Rashi says that his niece was his wife. Rashi. Nafala bait alav ve albata hiv shehi ishto. Safek hu met tehila. We're not sure if he died first. No. Safek, right? Venaflush to him. Lefne a hiv. If he died first, and there's another wife. Now, the daughter, his brother's daughter, right? His brother's daughter can't make boom with the brother. And if she falls, she doesn't need chalitza, and her, her co-wife doesn't need chalitza, right? Because one is bito. So the house fell on him and his brother's daughter, who's his wife. So if the brother died first, and the, the niece fell to her father for Chalitza, right? Or, but if she died first, then when, the, when, the, when he died, there was only the non-related wife, who needs Yibum. Again, why is If it's a bat kohen, and she has a, she has a baby in the stomach. Pasil lies posel from going back to her father's house and eating teruma. Why? Says She goes back to her father's house like her nearut. When she was in his house before she was not pregnant. Ibat Yisrael a Kohen, he's the opposite. If it's a Bat Yisrael who married a Kohen, lo ma'achil, he doesn't feed her, because it says, Yilid beto. Yilud ma'achil, she'enu yilud, enu ma'achil. Born feed, not born doesn't. Rashi, Yilud ma'achil. Yisraeli ta'ochel b'shvil b'na, when a Yisraeli eats for her child, ena ochelet elem ken, Yelud ben, unless he's born, Yelid bayit ma'achil et imon. Na'af kalam betorat kwani, mi velid bato, hem yochelu belachmo, kiri beyachilu. Umehacha yelud hu de mashma, only born. Hayavam, why? I bat koin li Yisrael, if it's a bat koin, who married Yisrael, and now she wants to go back to her father's house and eat, pasila is posela. Veshava el bet avia, when she's going back to her father's house, for sure. She's not yet back. She has to get. She needs more documentation before she can come back. Something that he acquired. The high and this lady, Kenyan de Ahivu. It's her. His brother made the Kenyan. The why Ibat Kohen li Israel who he if it's a bad Kohen so pasila the ha Kanya behavia she's married to him Ibat Yisrael Kohen he lo maachil mishum deula Rashi mishum deula the Masechet Ketubot Dvar Torah Asura Arusa Bat Yisrael ochel betruma why the Chetiv Kenyan Kaspo and she's Kenyan Kaspo who yochabo umatam amru ena ochelet. He'll give her some tiruma wine. I a great tiruma wine. Give it to father. She says, yeah, she gives the brother to taste it. So that's why they stopped it.